snake bite snake bite is an injury caused by the bite of the snake a venomous snake and a common sign uh, common sign of the bite is presence of two puncture wounds from the animal's fangs fangs means long pointed tooth uh, and uh, venom injection uh, from the bite it results in either redness swelling and severe pain at the area and uh, sometimes uh, associated with vomiting blurred vision and uh, tingling of limbs sweating fear following the bite is common uh, and uh, symptoms uh, with symptoms of uh, racing heart and uh, fainting and uh, venom may cause uh, mm, bleeding and uh, kidney failure severe allergic reactions and uh, tissue death across the bite and uh, of course uh, breath breathing problems also and bite uh, may result in loss of a limb and uh, depends on the type of the snake or snake bite and the area of the body bitten and uh, amount of the venom injected and uh, general health of the person uh, bitten by this uh, by the particular snake and uh, types of the snakes uh, for example crates uh, crates cobras um, and uh, mambas and vipers etc so anti venom is effective in preventing death and uh, type of anti venom needed depends on the type of the snake involved so all the time which type of snake uh, or type of snake uh, bitten is impossible to know so when type of the snake uh, which has uh, bitten is uh, unknown then anti venom is often given based on the types of the um, types of the snakes uh, known to be in that area and uh, supporting the person's breathing is also required it is a uh, uh, emergency um, it is a uh, emergency this uh, condition is emergency condition and th therefore supporting the patient's breathing is also very important and required at that point of time immediately and uh, coming to the signs and symptoms uh, Uh, due to fear um, nausea vomiting diarrhea vertigo fainting tachycardia and cold clammy skin so these are all due to fear and the bite may become infected uh, from snake saliva and uh, may contain uh, uh, clostridium tetany so clostridium tetany infection also possible or uh, bleeding blisters <coughs> and uh, necrosis so over time symptoms may become life threatening and um, as hypotension tachypnea severe tachycardia severe internal bleeding and altered sensorium if cns is involved and uh, kidney failure respiratory failure and coagulopathy is bleeding disorders that is bleeding disorders means coagulopathy means bleeding disorder and uh, uh, toxins which uh, attack the nervous system can cause neurotoxicity so strange disturbances to the vision blurriness paresthesias and di difficulty in speaking difficulty in breathing so if not treated immediate patients may die from respiratory failure and uh, and um, necrosis of the muscle tissue can also occur rhabdomyolysis that is rhabdomyolysis and which can even result in damage to the kidneys as a result of myoglobin accumulation myoglobin accumulation in the renal tubules and uh, this and uh, coupled with uh, hypotension that is low bp so all this can lead to acute kidney injury and uh, can uh, patient uh, can also develop uh, can this uh, uh, can also develop depression post traumatic stress disorder etc and coming to the pathophysiology since the since the envenomation is completely voluntary what is mean by envenomation it is a process by which venom is injected by the bite of the snake so is a completely voluntary so all the biting uh, all the um, all the venomous uh, this thing all the venomous snakes they are capable of biting without injecting venom into a person and if if it all uh, this happens then this type of bite is called as dry bite 
and um, coming to the venom venom in many snakes as uh, pit vipers etc they affects uh, every organ system in human body and can be a combination of many toxins as cytotoxin hemotoxin neurotoxins and myotoxins cytotoxins means toxic to cells hemotoxins means that destroys rbc neurotoxins means toxic to nerve tissue and uh, myotoxins means toxic to muscle tissue and can cause paralysis coming to the treatment uh, wash with uh, soap and water pressure immobilization pressure immobilization by a use of elastic bandage to prevent lymphatic drainage and uh, to prevent uh, uh, pumping action of skeletal muscles now coming to the anti venom anti venom is made by injecting small amount of uh, venom into an animal that is either horse or sheep to initiate an immune system response resulting uh, resulting um, after this immune system response the resulting antibodies they are then harvested from animals blood so this is anti venom so anti venom now it is injected into the i uh, patient uh, iv uh, injected into the iv into the patient and it works by binding to and neutralizing the venom enzymes so the anti venom side effects are anaphylaxis anaphylactic reaction and um, by giving adrenaline uh, by giving uh, adrenaline or epinephrine to prevent this adverse reaction to antivenom is mandatory